Welcome to Character Debates. I am your educational host, Michael Harrison. Today, we are discussing online learning. During the 2020 pandemic, educators were forced to teach over Zoom to prevent the spread of COVID-19. After 18 months of remote learning, kids across America returned to classrooms, which was met with a lot of disappointment from teachers and students. One group that was overwhelmingly happy about kids going back to classrooms, though, was parents. Which brings us to our first debater. Here to argue once and for all that children need to stay in school at all costs. We have the father of a problem child named Zach. I am happy to welcome Chandler James. Hey Chandler, how you doing over there? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I'm doing better <laughs> now. It's been a long it's been a long time. It's been a long <laughs> okay, few months, I'll, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Had to snap a beer, hey? <laughs> all right. Uh, well, uh, yeah. well to defend online learning, we can find no one more passionate about this topic than Zach's sixth grade elementary school teacher who has been quoted, I don't get paid enough to do this shit in person. Arguing that kids should only learn online, it's my pleasure to introduce Nora Panefrin. Nora, how are you feeling over there? Okay. How do you think? Uh, good. This is going to be it's gonna be an interesting one. Oh, yeah. All you right. pay me for that? Huh? 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 Yeah. Look. I already pay your salary. You I'm may as well sorry. pay me for my beer. I'm sorry, but let's be honest. I need <laughs> at least seven more of these just to reach base level. All if right. you want me taking care of your garbage child. Okay, okay, let's. Now, here to think of the children and all this, our judge today is the principal of Fingers Cross Elementary School, which is a school Miss Panefrin works at. Yeah. I am happy, happy to welcome Mr. Fennel Yard. Mr. Yard, how are you doing over there? Hi, yes, it's actually Dr. Dr. Fennel Yard, yes. I have my PhD in education from Boulder University, so I'd like that. Uh, everyone knows the importance of education out there, uh, listening, and so doctor is a title I would like to be called. You're, Thank you're you. an elementary school teacher who overwatches kids that pick their noses. Pr principal. Principal. Principal, yes. sorry. You're right. Uh, principal. I'm in administration, but of course, in, consider myself an educator as well. Really? Yes. So you paid extra money just to flex? Well, no, of course. I mean, flexing the mind, which is a muscle <laughs> okay. that, that's just as important as any other in the body. <laughs> right. Now, let me get this straight. No this matter. is the judge? Yeah. Fucking A. Yeah, right? No. <laughs> this guy's a douchebag. Sorry, I don't want to. <laughs> well, You're a nice guy. You're a principal. Good for you. Yeah. Uh, not like a job anybody could do. <laughs> it's not like yeah. anybody could just show up and boss people around. I do, I do have to agree, actually. Uh, let me get this straight. So no matter who wins this, you don't even have the power to insert any such policy. You're just going to make a strong recommendation to the school board in favor of whoever wins this. That's all you can do? Well, I consider we, we have checks and balances in the education system. And yeah. so uh, we don't want any one person to be the emperor of learning okay no one person <laughs> in power should be inserting themselves into anything yeah, yeah. fair well why why'd you have to become a doctor well you, you don't have to do anything in this world that's what we like to tell the children uh we want to instill uh. the power of passion about education and so by going to get my doctorate i showed perseverance and i showed a follow-through that we want the children to also have no okay so you consider yourself a role model of course, uh, it's <laughs> right. strictly in the educational sense. I don't want to. So with that, with that bounds. said, you mm -hmm. feel very highly about, uh, I guess, uh, who you employ as teachers. You know, Miss Panefrin, right? I do. Right. Yes, uh, uh, Ms. Miss. Oh, uh, yeah. We M Ms. Period. We don't want to say Miss. That's something we have actually gone away from in the educational system. We everyone is Ms. Uh, Mr. or Doctor. And After so, the third okay. husband, it gets a little pickly. Okay, yeah. okay, got you. Mm. Well, then let's get uh, let's get right to it. We're going to start up with Chandler. Chandler, what's your opening argument on why you believe kids should stay in school and not do online learning? I mean, kids got to stay in school. It's how it's been for a thousand years. It's how it's going to be for the next thousand years. I mean, mm -hmm. the idea that every parent at home has everything they need. The teachers don't even have what the fuck they need. They're, they're sending home supply lists for me to buy for the classroom. <laughs> yes. uh, they don't even have what they need. They think I have it? Yeah. No. No, I'm, I don't want to go to fucking Staples every other goddamn day to get markers and bullshit for these kids. No, they go to the school. I pay my fucking taxes, okay? <laughs> and then the taxes pay for her salary, his salary, and apparently his fucking haircut, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then everything else in between. So that's the way it works, and that's the way it's going to keep fucking going, all right? The kids are not going to be at home every day, and I don't work from home either. I think that's fucking bullshit. 
Man, I feel like this is the first time you ever said any of that. Yeah, no, I'm. Yeah, yeah. It's no, been it's, building, hey? I, it, it's been a lot, man. I mean, it's been a long fucking year. I've been, I've been yelling. All my buddies, we all agree, this is fucking stupid. Yeah. Like, what, what's the point of this? The, I, I don't know how to teach these kids math. I don't know math. I don't use math anymore. Nobody uses math. But even then, kids will just be on their uh, their computer. You, you'll just be, I guess, at home because uh, you have no job, right? It's bullshit, man. I, 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 they expect us to help them with the homework and to be there in case they need anything and in the, in the help during the class and wow. it's bullshit okay. i don't want to deal with this shit that's her job all right that's what she gets paid for i don't get paid for this shit i pay out for this shit all right well let me let's let's Sorry. move over Fuck. to to miss benefren and find out her opening statement on why she believes kids should be taught online well that is a stunning statement from a man who got a degree at Durai university <laughs> in tv vcr repair college is so, a scam uh, uh you know <laughs> that's absolutely good for you sir uh, look here's the bottom line you don't want me around your kids, and I don't want to be around your kids. <laughs> I ain't getting paid enough for this horse shit. Now, when you said that you pay taxes that pay my salary. Damn right. Do you want me to show you my most recent pay stub? Yeah, lay it on me. Go ahead. All right, good. I'll email it to you. You know what you're doing? You're earning that fucking pay. You're earning it, okay? What are you going to do, <laughs> sit around and fucking Skype kids all day? No. Exactly. You get, you get paid Look, that minimum fucking wage to, frankly, to show up and smile at my me. kids and wear dresses and take them on fucking field trips, okay? Wear That's dresses? That's your job. <laughs> okay. is, this, is this not my initial statement here? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. You know, all right. Let her, let her finish her can opening Can this judge from Sheboygan just take a seat for a second? I agree. I agree. Sorry. Look, Shut up. Continue. Go ahead. No. With yeah, all go, the crap that's going on in the <laughs> world today and all the people who have been touching children, isn't it safer to keep them at home where yeah. they can just be touched by you? I'd like to insert, uh, allegedly. Let's make sure that <laughs> Maybe we you shouldn't allegedly. have said insert right before yes. that. Okay. <laughs> all right. They can still get everything done that they need to get done, but they don't need to be around me to do it. I don't care if my kid's getting did as long as his grades are up. All okay? Right, yeah. That's what matters to me. Okay. Okay. Well, well, once he, you know, gets part of the plumbing job that you have going on, yeah. what difference does it make one way or the other? Exactly. That's my whole fucking point, is he should be your fucking problem until he's the world's problem. Okay? No. That's how it's worked. That's how it's going to keep well, working. Well, it's always been your problem. Maybe you should have kept it in your pants. Well, <laughs> let's... Uh, Not an option, lady. <laughs> let's, uh, let's establish where this is all coming from. For those who don't know, uh, Chandler's son, Zach has cussed at teachers, bit a fellow student, and peed in a locker. Uh, the boy. Yeah, do you want that around anybody else? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> specifically. <laughs> sounds, uh, honestly, sounds like a handful to deal with. Uh, Chandler, if he's such a disturbance at school, then I bet the teacher can get through more of her lesson without his physical presence. So isn't it for the betterment of the whole class and your son that kids learn remotely so that more information could be passed along without distraction? On Zoom, all, all Miss Peffern has to do is uh, turn off the mic. Yeah, and you know what else all these kids have to do is not fucking pay attention. Alt-tab out. Go on Reddit. Go on fucking Facebook and TikTok and shit. They're not even learning anything online. they got to be present in the fucking class or else they're not They're not learning anything. Why? How are they going to learn more, like, presently? Eye contact. Forcing her, her fucking hitting them like they used to. I mean, keep these <laughs> kids in line. That's what you're paid for. It's not my job to wrangle this kid in 12 hours a fucking day. I do it for a couple hours before I go to bed. I yeah. am not a babysitter. Here's the thing. <laughs> I want to be able to say what I need to say and there is no better power than the mute button and frankly i wish we had one here today <laughs> and that's not how real life works and it's never going to work like that you're teaching these kids lessons that don't apply to real life you can't just mute people you got to sit there and deal with it all right okay. so these kids how need to go in there and teaching learn them lessons by being on the other side of a macbook pro where i feel safer far far away from your bastard child look if you're if you're afraid of children you shouldn't have even gotten into this fucking career path okay look, they bite you know and they have very else. sharp teeth because they're very new yeah good good that's your problem. Get get thicker sleeves, lady. My what do you problem. want me to say? My God. Yeah, wait. As a side, I do want to sort of take uh, Miss Benefford's side on this. Yeah. And yeah, of course you do. I'm not, Listen, I'm not going to play the blame game, but do you feel like maybe if you and other parents knew how to better raise children, then maybe teachers might want to teach them in person? Ha-ha! Uh -huh. oh, it does. Sing! It, it feels like uh, you just want uh, her to raise her, uh, your child just for half a day. Do a better job. Right? Exactly. Like, yeah, so Chandler. what's the problem with that? Well, that's, that's not her work. job. Her job's to teach, right? Absolutely. Teaching is part of the raising process. Isn't that what you do as a parent is teach people? Yeah. That's what you do. You teach your kids <laughs> stuff. You, teach you them just made lessons. a case against yourself. You literally <laughs> just said being a parent is a teacher. Ta-da. Yeah, and I don't get <laughs> paid for over. that shit. So you should be doing uh, half the work. What do you get paid to do? I get paid to, to fit pipes. I get uh -huh. paid to weld. 
Uh, they get paid to, to fix people's real problems in the real world. Okay. Okay? Not teach them about fake history that the fucking U.S. government is making up to teach my kids or about fucking bullshit. <laughs> I'm, I'm teaching them real world then shit. Then you and I have something in common. We both clean up shit 24 hours a day. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, you clean up shit all day yeah, long. You yeah. clean up your fucking crumbs off your MacBook Pro. That's yeah, the only that was, shit you're cleaning up these look, days. Look, ask Zach what happens when he has dairy. Hey, hey Miss uh, Miss Ben Everett, you don't do you, you don't have children, right? No, oh, I don't want to ruin my boyish figure. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe maybe I'll give this to Chandler then. But uh, and this is a question for you, Miss Ben Everett. But mm. uh, Zach seem, does seem to have a very antisocial personality. So don't you think being social might be the answer towards helping some of his development problems? Oh Thanks. hell no! Keep everybody far far away from him. He should get yeah. used to it anyway because <laughs> yeah, the incarceration system is going to put him alone quickly enough. <laughs> So I say, why not prepare him for the inevitable, okay. which is seeing somebody on a screen or through plexiglass for the rest of his life. Wow. Mr. Yard, you know, you know, Zach, right? I do. In fact, uh, a point that's not being really made yet is that uh, a young Zachary has spent most of his time in school in my office. Mm. And so, <laughs> yeah, so you're sort of te- you're sort of teaching him and raising him. It's really there's there needs to be some parental Involvement here to uh, uh, along with the go. teacher. You Where know? did the child yeah, get a cross? If we could just use listening know? ears oh, and, geez, and res- respectful me, words, um, inside voices, I think you guys would be able to hear each other much better. All right. Uh, now I do want to sort of go to the rumor mill for this next question, uh, Miss Manefrin. You were once caught fornicating with gym teacher Mr. Benson, who's a married man, on a desk mm. that coincidentally happened to be Mr. Yards. Do you think uh, Mr. Benson's wife's death threats might be a possible reason for your choice to not want to teach in class? <laughs> no. Do you think I'm not used to death threats in this life? Oh, really? Okay. And frankly, I could take her. Yeah? Okay. I'm from a very mean suburb of Rhode Island, yeah. and I'm scrappy with upper body strength. Yeah. I scratch. So, no. Good. That quote-unquote indiscretion, which, by the way, only lasted 28 seconds, but who's counting? Yeah. (laughs) Is no reason for me to stop going to a school and teaching. Yeah. Frankly, I just think it's better on Zoom. (laughs) These kids are, they carry disease. They're sick all the time. They can sit at home, learn far, far away from me. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a point. And sounds sorry like about that whole desk re- thing. Yeah, it sounds like this lady needs to retire and fuck gym teachers. Well, just to be clear. You don't have to retire to do that. Just to uh. be clear, all of those alleged incidents are in mediation right now. Okay. Alleged. And, <laughs> alleged, and the alleged desk <laughs> is also been put in storage until we can determine all of the factors that went into uh, alleged incidents. And wow. those alleged butt prints were not mine, I swear. Okay. See, this is the stuff. I, I'm never going to be able to teach my kid this. I, I don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. Exactly. How am I ever going to teach them this kind of I language? They need to go to you and learn it. You don't I'm know sorry, the word I alleged? A compound word like, like a, alleged. Like a cliff? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's just. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, they're, yeah, they're assuming. They're assuming. Um, all right. Now, Miss Benefren, you've been known to drink on the job a lot. Uh, apparently, your peers have had three interventions in regards to this. Why do you believe you're a more effective teacher under the influence? Don't you think teaching remotely will further enable this debilitating crutch? <laughs> yes. Do I think that will help my drinking? <laughs> yes. Will it add to it? I think it will only speed up the process. And frankly, you said interventions. I just call them crappy parties. Uh, Mr. Yard, what did you call them? <sighs> Again, you know, when we are talking about any sort of incidences that car <laughs> yeah, include uh, alleged, or, or alleged drinking. By the way, this guy's really criminal good. Activity. <laughs> um, all of those have to actually go through both our media team and our legal department <laughs> in order to be able to make a full statement on that. But I will tell you right now, um, all of the possible incidences ha- mm. that have been uh, taken place are going into review. And I can tell you right now, the teachers union is very strong. Um, so <laughs> You are good. You yes. should run for state comptroller. <laughs> well, yeah. Thank you. I, you really I have should. considered it. You're I, very talented. Yes. Um, all right. Well, let's uh, let me try to teach you guys a little fact. Uh, apparently, mosquitoes are the deadliest animal on Earth, killing at least 725 
hundred thousand people a year by carrying all sorts of disease. Malaria. My, yeah. That's a big one. Mm-hmm. Right. I know. That's more than two syllables. There we go. You keeping up, Chand? Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> mosquitoes <laughs> are bad. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. Mosquitoes are bad. They fucking suck. Go. Literally. Now, in my research, <laughs> kids are likely the second deadliest animal for that reason. They are carriers of the COVID-19 disease, and they can infect and kill older people with weaker immune systems. So, Chandler, why are you trying to get poor alcoholic teachers murdered like your opponent? I oh, know. yeah, no, no, that's what we should do, Mike. We should put everybody in a fucking plastic bubble and everybody can walk around and we can touch each other through fucking nine <laughs> layers of plastic and glass every day and, and nobody can look at each other anymore and nobody wants to touch hands and nobody wants to bump into a stranger <laughs> on the side. This is how the world works, okay? Yeah. You want to make this fucking fantasy land where nobody looks at each other, we're all talking through screens, why don't you just jump into the Matrix? Yeah, okay. I mean, what are we talking about here? This is, this is what you have to do. You want to you build your immune system? Expose yourself. You got to microdose that shit get a little bit of the cold get a little bit of the covid get a little bit of whatever fucking syphilis that i passed from some fucking uncle to some kid who cares that's the point but just as just as a side alcohol does hurt your immune system these kids could possibly kill you they might give you covid19 and take you down I, if that's how I die, then I don't care. Really? I don't, yeah, take me out. Then I'm too weak. It's okay. natural selection, goddammit. <laughs> okay. All right? Okay. If I'm too weak to move on, who cares? I've already passed down my genes. And let me tell you, that kid's going to fuck. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. He's a go-getter. Wow. So apparently Chandler's pro you dying, Miss Devrin. <laughs> I'm pro her building up her immune system like a goddamn real person you does. You know, he seems a little too obsessed with touching people. Yeah. Go <laughs> swim in a Purell bath the rest of your life. Have some fun. <laughs> it has less to do. Now, I will say. It, yes, your children are disease carriers. They're disgusting. I don't want them touching me. Their hands are always covered in pudding or cake or yeah, whatever yeah. the hell you're giving them for breakfast. But more than that, it's about that I just don't like them. Okay. I don't. Uh, yeah. I would rather see your child from the neck up from the, from the neck down for the rest of my life. Ah, that's a good point. Uh, as another... Uh, like this guy's got a different strategy on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, we Allegedly, do. sorry. Uh, 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 we we just that? want to make sure that we're using positive terms for the children <laughs> and not getting into any personal feelings of negativity towards any individual or groups. So animals... Uh, you know what? Crap we, buckets. We we would prefer to uh, just refer to them as individuals. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, not not to hate on uh, children further, but I will. Uh, online courses, on average, disperse ninety percent less energy and eighty five percent fewer CO two CO two emissions per student than if they went to school. Uh, here we go. See, you're saving the planet. Yeah. So since students are melting ice caps, shouldn't they learn at home before they kill more polar bears, Chandler? These children need to start thinking of the children. Oh, Jesus fucking yeah. Christ with this hippy dippy bullshit. You know what else burns CO2 emissions? Is me having to cook fucking hot pockets every day for fucking lunch, okay? <laughs> okay. You, you burn CO2 that your fucking emissions. Made up science studies, or you just bullshit me with numbers to try and make a buzz point, okay? <laughs> Kids are not causing fucking global warming when there's insurance companies with 100 story towers that are doing the same fucking thing every goddamn day, okay? Really? These yeah. kids need to go to school. They can work remotely if they want. If they want to be a fucking pussy, they can work remotely in the future. But these kids got to go to school. They got to learn social skills, okay? They got to they be able to deal with it. You think I care about the fucking planet? melting guess what pal it's gonna happen anyway yeah okay, okay. You can have these kids work from home or not these kids are still gonna go out there fucking farting up a storm smoking cigarettes driving cars throwing shit in the <laughs> throwing ocean cars. wait driving cars you let children drive cars eventually in their lives that's what i'm saying eventually it doesn't matter they're gonna cause the damage anyway so yes. who gives a fuck I all right mean- let them work let them work go let them go in let's let's fucking teach them what the real world is like yeah turns out your actions have consequences okay lesson number one Ice melts, okay? Yeah. Let's, let's use this. Let's use this information to teach kids about the fucking world. You right. burn CO2 emissions every time you go to Chipotle. I'm burning it right now. Okay? <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I'm on fire. I second, I second that. Uh, with that said, actually, Chandler, the, fu- the future looks like it's... <laughs> The future looks like it's going to be all remote and online. Don't you think this is actually the perfect way to teach since this is how your kid is going to be working anyway? Or do you just think your kid likely won't be able to get a job? Maybe your future is online, okay? That's really? not, not my future. <laughs> no? Not my future, okay? No, I meant your kid's future. What about your kid's future? Well, you think you think every, you think think robots are going to be installing HVAC systems? No, think I think they'll be on... robots are going to be running corporations? Absolutely no. they are. Yeah, but also they're going to be online. They're going to be using computers. Yes, they will. Yeah, yeah they, can, they can learn computers. 
You can learn computers when you go into the school and get on the school's fucking computer. Because if not, I got to buy a computer now. Now I got to go to fucking Best Buy and talk to some shithead kid who's, wow. making, who's making 12 bucks an hour trying to sell me some computer. I don't know what the fuck Wait he's talking about with gigahertz you don't, and shit. You don't I, have a computer? No, I don't need a computer. I have a cell phone. What the? Why would I need a computer? Your kid writes everything for like... He writes it out, hand, like, wow. like I used to. Yeah. Miss he's very cursive too. <laughs> Miss Benevron, what do you think of that? Well, I think that his son is a serial killer. If you've seen his handwriting, <laughs> you should know. It's actually... And I'm sorry was... that you're going to have to cash in your your $200 401k yeah. to try to get your kid up to snuff with all the recent technology. Everybody needs him. You got to get used to him. He'll be more talented than you. Right. And don't you want to raise a kid who can ultimately support you, which is what you wanted to do yeah. anyway? Exactly. That's what I want. I want the kid to go to school, work on a laptop that's not his. <laughs> okay. That way, if he fucks it up, it's not my goddamn problem. All right? Yep. And then he can learn all the skills he wants at school, not in my fucking house. Okay, okay. Okay, not during the day. Not so I have to get some babysitter or stay home from work or get, get some fucking lady to, to watch him. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> when when was Wait. the last time you actually spent time with your child? I spent time with my son every night of the week, okay? Uh, we watched the uh, races. Uh, Okay. Oh, yeah, we NASCAR, this, we that's the way game. to be. He, uh -huh. he helped me fucking win a 13-leg a parlay the other night. We're feeling pretty fucking good. <laughs> Zachy boy's got the eye. Uh, Ms. Benefer, yeah, what about low-income families? I didn't realize uh, Chandler was, uh, I don't know, sort of on the low end over there. Uh, what about them? If they can't afford a computer, then, I mean, yeah, they might have to go to school. Well, first mean, of all... No, don't fucking put words in my mouth. I can afford a fucking computer. Okay? <laughs> okay. I make and plenty of fucking go. money. It's Another not my job to buy the computer. Him. It's the state's job. That's what my fucking taxes are for. Yeah. Okay? To force me <laughs> to buy something is bullshit, and I'm, I'm going to refuse to do it. Not because I can't do it. Watch your fucking mouth. I'm not poor. I got you. I okay. fucking work every goddamn day. I got money in the bank. <laughs> Thanks for the cause light. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, no, it's on me. It's on me. Yeah. <laughs> that dollar fifty at two buck beer night is going to be really put you down. Yeah, well, this Coors Light's the official beer of dads who are fucking pissed off. Yeah. Right? And I'm fucking pissed. I'm all sick right. of this shit. How about this? Then? It's been Everett, uh for, for low-income families that's not like Chandler. Yeah. <laughs> what about them? Um. I actually <laughs> refer to the NMP philosophy, which is not my problem. Okay. <laughs> Bring that up with the school board. You guys pay your taxes, then you should talk to them about that. Also, I have been putting out, shelling out so much money at the Staples, at the Playtime. Yeah. Right. Trying to job. do all this crap. No, absolutely not. Why don't you bring it up with fennel down there? <laughs> uh, actually, Aha, see, now he's quiet. Dr. Yard, please. <laughs> okay, okay. It wasn't like that last week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ms. Manevra, yeah. What, what about um, uh, face to face time, like one on one time with kids? Like <laughs> normally they could usually corner you, near, you know, in a, in a classroom or when you're going to your car. Uh, do you give them enough one-on-one -on -one time online? Do they Hell have access yeah. to you? I mean, well, look, you got me from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Isn't that enough? What more do you need from that? And yes, frankly, I just put on a screensaver that happens to be my face that blinks once every 30 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, my, my kid got fucking virtual detention the other day. You, yeah. You know they, do that? they do virtual detention. <laughs> you really? had to, to sit there staying room. logged in, staring at a fucking webcam for 45 minutes while old fucking Debbie Downer here is chugging wine and <laughs> passing out on camp. And my kid's, what, what, no, he should be in the classroom writing shit on the chalkboard learning real no. lessons in life not sitting there fucking scrolling through tiktok while he's pretending to be on punishment it's That's bullshit a good point. That's well a good tell point. him to wear pants next time okay <laughs> it was laundry day the kid ran out he's a boy Look, do you know how hard it is to wrangle children on zoom it's like starting a seance is Timmy in the room? Is there a Timmy in the room? <laughs> really? Oh, I think Karen just entered. Is there a Karen in here? Karen, your grandfather's coming through. Please. Yeah, you're right. So it's so hard. You should probably do it in person, right? So Maybe hard. The attendance program. Hey, here, here, here. Remember that shit? Here. Yeah. Who is it? Fucking Timmy Tommy. Yeah, you're here. There Look, you go. you were the one who decided to have these things to begin with, and you hold on to them. I don't do kids. Kids are like crop tops. They're not for me. So you, you, know? don't, you don't love kids? Why did you get in this, this occupation? TV VCR repair was not available to me. Really? <laughs> so you what? You're jealous of your opponent? I don't opponent? have the gift. No. Uh, okay. I do also, not. Also, back in those days, we did not let women in those. In those <laughs> yeah. Services. See, there no, you no, go. No, no, no. Yeah. Don't Rhode Island was a very tough place to live. But I mean, part of the job is you have to care about the children. Right? No, I don't. Really? Okay. What teachers ever cared about you? I I'm going to answer right now. None. Okay. Okay. I promise you.
Trust well, me, as a parent, the job's barely to care about the kids. Yeah, so. exactly. All right. Well, well, we right. finally agree on something. Uh, yeah, also. Neither of us like your kid. I love my kid. I hate every other fucking kid. I yeah, hate all the kids. My kid's a fucking champion. All right, yeah. he's going to be a D1 athlete. Well, just as a just as What I, about his lazy eye? <laughs> doesn't matter. Okay, he's fucking skilled. That's going to be a real coordination problem. coordination on that kid is great. Yeah. yeah. He's got Wait. a different one for each eye and Take hand. him to a farm, have a donkey kick him in the ass, and straighten those things out. <laughs> Wait, just as, just as a side, Ms. Benevron. Yeah. Uh, bullying has been proven to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and cancer. Mm. Plus, most traditional bullying is all premeditative, which means kids like Zach are using highly useful skills like planning, creative thinking to avoid being caught, taking initiative, and other important life skills. So if you want these young bullies to be taught from home, you might cost them these benefits. I thought you are trying to help you know, kids have a brighter future, so why don't you care about Zach and his bullying? How to help bullies. How am I not helping them evolve to the next level of bullying? Because cyberbullying is not the same. You don't get the same benefits. Cyber bu- be, it may not be cardio benefits, but that's not my problem. Talk to, <laughs> okay. you know, <laughs> Jimmy from Phys Ed. He'll take care of that. <laughs> is that but what you nicknamed Cyberbullying requires an actual... Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, cyberbullying requ- requires actual thought and skill, and you got to play the long game. Yeah. And I teach the bullies how to cyber bully. Really? We do, we uh, do not condone muscle. bullying in person or uh, cyber bullying. Yes, we Online, do not. We, so we do you're not pro bullying. kids sure. getting cardiovascular disease. Uh, we we have gym class once a month. Yeah, so yeah. we are mm. promoting cardiovascular health. <laughs> okay. month, once a month. Yes. <laughs> you're hearing this shit? <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. that's bull. A bunch eh? of fucking tubby little kids running around. Well, my kid's fucking dominating. They're like, oh, he's, he's a bad kid. No, he's fucking doing everything right. right. Well, we always yeah. say it starts at home. Actually, and so we that- would like the diets at home to be of, I, we don't do the fur food pyramid or the four food groups anymore. It's more based on uh, what you feel like you would like to eat. <laughs> wow. mm. Actually, yeah. I want to take off uh, on that point because... Uh, I feel like I could use a Tito's and soda. <laughs> <right>. <laughs> I want to take off on that point. A lot of parents are worried that sit, uh, sitting all day staring at a computer makes their kid overweight and unhealthy. Yeah, it does. They're right? already fat to begin with. Yeah. Those are not mine. But on top of that, actually, uh, physical He's pushing three bucks. Are you kidding me? <laughs> physical education is one of the topics that instructors find most difficult to teach over Zoom. Apparently, Mr. Benson makes kids do 45 minutes worth of jumping jacks in front of his screen, which uh, I don't think is very good for their knees. Uh, do you think kids should uh, embrace obesity so you can work from home, Miss? Uh, oh, Ms. well, Pinefer? first of all, cartilage grows back. You're young. You'll okay. get over it. Yeah, really? <laughs> Look, again, uh, you know, I've seen Jimmy's physical ed class, and let me tell you what. He's got some balls. I mean, anyway, where was I? What was the question again? <laughs> uh, do you think kids should embrace obesity so you can work from home? Like, that seems to be the trade-off, because that's obviously what Chandler's, like, big fear is. Well, yeah, oh. well, I'll tell you right now, these fucking, these jumping jacks are scuffing up my fucking wood floors, too. I'll tell you that. It's not <laughs> yeah. the only problem. Okay. It's not enough, and it's... Wood it's, floors, <laughs> please. Yeah. Yeah, no, you I know nice you stuff. have shitty carpet from Home Depot. Shut up. I got Persian rugs on wood floors. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's I know what how to save my money now. by making you mm-hmm. do the fucking work. That's the mm. point. Whatever right? you bought from Walmart will be just fine. Right? So if his head's tough to teach online. Walmart has good fucking products, okay? No. <laughs> when have I ever they, they, had No, they have good products. They have some of the stuff there is shipped. They got a lot of good products. Don't Look, talk shit I got an Walmart. air fryer there that lasted three days. All right, it's garbage. Sounds like your problem. What are you trying to air fry? Huh? Wait, why did we start fighting about Walmart? <laughs> Fuck you. Just because you work there. <laughs> I don't work there anymore. Anymore. Uh, funny. All right. Do you think kids should embrace obesity finally? Yeah, lean in. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else in America is. You know, we're taking out middle seats on planes at this point. We've had, if you have to, to sit down in a plane and get a seat belt extender, fuck everything. Okay. You know? I say let's just have turkey dinners 24-7. No. You're doing that anyway. What do you feel? Feed them Elio's pizza every night? I'm telling you, your kid could bench press somebody. Sure Three bucks. Yeah, he's going to be a lineman. He's going to yeah. be a lineman. He's a D1 athlete. He's just going to sit on him. We do embrace all body types. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Finally, fucking Dr. Douche is saying something decent. <laughs> I guess What so. was he, Dr. Dr. Yard. Dr. Yard. Yeah. Sorry, it was something like that. Same yeah. diff. All right. Uh, speaking of health then, uh, Chandler, sometimes a kid will bring his teacher an apple as a token of appreciation. Yeah, my, my apple that I paid for. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And in my opinion, uh, probably to give them some nutrition because they make so little. Yeah. So if Zoom becomes the norm, schools will shut down. This means more education financing can hopefully be passed on to give teachers a better wage, and they could buy more apples, which I believe is a teacher's main form of sustenance. 
Isn't online learning good for the economy, particularly the Apple industry? First of all, if you think the savings that the school is making is getting passed on to the teachers, you're a fucking psychopath. See? Okay? Good. That's not we how agree. It works. We agree. Yeah? yeah. This lady's not getting a raise, and over my fucking dead body, is she getting a raise for doing less work? Oh, okay? please. That's not, I, I will fight for that. I'll be at every school board meeting, Go okay? Scratch. I'm going to be a pain in your ass if this shit keeps up. Okay. All right? She's not getting a raise <laughs> okay. yeah. for to do less work and deal with my problem, okay? You know what she can get online? Apple emojis, okay? Uh, that, oh, have wow. fun with that. No, that is what kids do. They give gifts to their teacher so they get good grades. That's how you get up extra points. It's, it's been the process for the, the since I was in school. Right. Uh, that's, that's what you do. Okay. The only apple I've ever had is apple pucker. Oh, geez. And it's good. It makes a good martini. Oh, nice. Uh, out of curiosity, do you get gifts from uh, students? Only the gifts of disease. Right. Those children have never bought me anything. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. We got you hot chocolate in a jar. It was hot chocolate mixed. It never made it to school. Your child ate it in the bus. <laughs> ate it. He's trying to. He's trying to bulk up. I didn't he's know you could up. eat <laughs> hot chocolate. Good God. Not my problem. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> Good. I had to wait for you to finish that scream. Ah, ah. <laughs> Stroke. I feel better now. Though. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, this was brought up earlier, Chandler. Uh, by learning online, your son will be home more. Uh, yeah, you don't get to tell me. Right? Yes, this gives you an yeah. opportunity to Connect forge. Connect with him. Yeah, you love him, so this gives you an opportunity to forge <laughs> a deeper relationship with him. I can't... got plenty of time to do that. Yeah, I can't, but can't you see this as an opportunity to get even more closer? They grow no, up no, so I, fast. I see, it, I see it as an opportunity for him to become a little fucking mama's boy or a daddy's boy. Okay, staying at home and having daddy be his only friend. Yeah. All right, that's a problem. He's got to go out there. He's got to meet this lady. He's got to meet this fucking weirdo. He's got to meet the girl in his class. He's got to meet his friends. He's got to make he's got to make social connections. OK, yep. he's not going to do that with just me at home. Uh, he's got to get out in the world. Right. Really? Yeah. So, so you're not enough. He going to Zoom call and hang out with his buddy. No, he's going to fucking walk his ass to his house because I'm not driving him. I just yeah. got home from fucking work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's going to fucking walk his friends to his friend's house, get lost, <laughs> walk around the neighborhood for a little bit and then finally find the house. And boom, now all of a sudden he feels accomplished. He's yeah. learned a lesson in life. OK, okay? okay good. things don't come easy. And he shouldn't. Yeah, you're right. You guys shouldn't develop a friend relationship. We right? have a relationship. OK, I take care of him. I feed him. I yeah. make sure he's got a place to live. That's what a dad does. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like a guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chandler, I do have a question. Do you know your son's name? It's Dr. Chandler. Yeah, imagine. imagine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, his name is Zach. <laughs> yes. What's the last name? His name is Zach James. Same name as okay. mine. He tried to take his mother's names, but I said fucking no. Oh, God. <laughs> he name. came from a mother. Uh, now, uh, spending time, uh, <laughs> Chandler, spending time online means that kids will be forced to spend more time in front of their screens. Too much screen time is known to cause sleep disturbances. Disgusting. If your kid is awake, then they'll be have more time to do homework. Don't you think this can potentially make Zach smarter? No, I think it's going to damage his brain. I think it's going to damage his eyes. They've been coming out with stupid fucking nerdy glasses that help deflect the, <laughs> the screen from the light like it's like it's the sun because they know it's bad for you. Yeah. Okay? They know it's bad for you, yet we're still forcing kids to do it for eight hours a day. And then guess what they do when they get off of their of their virtual school? They go right back to the fucking screens. Okay? Yes. They go to a TV screen. They go to an iPad. They go to a phone. They go to a fucking billboard. These kids are obsessed with screens. Yeah. They need a break from screens. They need to be looking at paper. They need to be looking at books. They need to be looking at, at, the, at that girl in the class they like. Oh, guy, I'm open-minded. Yeah? Okay? If Are my you? kid wants to be gay, <laughs> sure, sure. Good. You better be a D1 athlete still, but Good. you can be gay. Yeah, of course. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Emphasis on the D. <laughs> you know, I have a real hard time hearing about somebody talking about screens damaging people's brains who drinks Coors Light. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let me tell you. Okay, Th this, this stuff's fucking good, all right? <laughs> this, if kid, kids could How many this. of these did you slam against your head? Brain damage from screens, yeah. please. Imagine combining both of those. You think these kids aren't going to chug a couple beers in their lives? No, no. Well, yeah. please, your son brought one to lunch the other these day. These kids are going to be blind. They're going to be fucking deaf because they got nothing but earphones in all day long. They don't even know what a bird sounds like. They're like, what the fuck is that? I, I love that she's calling you out on your intelligence. Do you Absolutely. read a lot? Absolutely. I drink. I know what I do. But do you read? I, I read the news every day. Hey, did I you ever go to school messages. in person? Okay, yeah, yeah. If you're, if you yeah, are. Yeah, I went to school person every day. Perfect attendance <laughs> record in eighth grade, actually. Thank if you very you much. If you are the template of the person who actually went to school live and in person, I think that is the perfect argument for keeping kids on Zoom. Okay. Oh, give me a fucking yeah. break. I'm a successful <laughs> man, okay? I got a full-time job. I can provide for my family. Like I said, I got a fucking mm. house. I got a car. I got kids. I got a wife. Had a wife. But <laughs> the, the, uh -huh. the point is. 
<laughs> is that I can do what it takes to fucking survive in this world, okay? Yeah. These little kids with their computers and shit, you take away the internet, and all of a sudden, boom, they're, they're lost. They got nothing. Wow. They don't even know how to make a grilled cheese sandwich. There what is you, a you girl on YouTube right now. Are you right getting now. all this, by the way? This is all good for you oh. to keep in mind. Well, I certainly have followed every word, uh, <laughs> and quite a few choice words, I would say, <laughs> words that we do not use in the Learning Institute. We do Jesus. not. But, uh, yes, I have been following things. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We you do learning? not use only one syllable hmm. words, so yeah, you're right. Neither of these people even live in the real world. Correct right? me if I'm wrong, but isn't there a girl on YouTube who makes six figures by shoving pizza in her face and videotaping it on YouTube? You that's skills! Yeah. She could buy and sell everybody at this table! Yeah, and that's the exact fucking video these kids are watching instead of listening to this boring bitch talk about geography. <laughs> you gotta learn how to unhinge your jaw somehow. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Uh, Mr. Neffrin. Uh, as we go about learning, cheating on a test over Zoom is a lot easier than cheating in person. Setting exam notes and eye lines exactly. next to the computer or searching for answers on other devices are some of the multitudes of ways people have tried to cheat on exams. Are you concerned by this? Don't you think exams should at least be done in person? I'm not anything? really concerned about much, Michael. No? <laughs> Haven't yeah. we learned this at I this think point? I, yeah, I got that Look, vibe. I'm going to give you the information. It gets into your brain one way or the other. If yeah. you're cheating on a test in order to learn the information, so what? At least you're reading, damn it. You know reading, right? Yeah. Have you ever tried to read a book? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've read books and then realized there's fucking better ways to get information. People make stuff with pictures and lights and movies and shit. Right. Pamphlets at clinics are not books. Yeah, it's still reading. Spell syphilis. Why would I do that? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this Actually, lady could probably spell it five times over. She could probably spell <laughs> chlamydia, glaucoma, everything. Uh, Just left it all on the desk. Sorry, <laughs> Misty. I love that you threw. Yeah, I love you threw glaucoma yes. in with. Yeah. I don't know. It sounds yes. like a fucking bad. I've only ever heard it. I don't get diseases. Exactly. I, don't I think you misread this. the word gonorrhea. That's yeah. the one. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, gonorrhea. It's not diarrhea. That's different. It's a lot of rias. You'll edit no. all this out, right? Actually, Ms. Nah. Neverin, uh, another class for online learning is science. In order to teach kids a biology lesson, recently you mailed dead frogs in a switchblade with a page of instructions to dissect so you can discuss the anatomy. Yeah. Don't you think it's a little reckless to send dead amphibians and murder instruments to kids for one lesson? Uh, three of your former thank you. three of your former classmates recently joined a junior crip street gang because of how easy they found stabbing was to them. First of all, you're welcome because I sent the supplies home. And yes, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I took the Chandler, budget for that one. one. I took the hit on that. Do you know how much <laughs> these switchblades cost? They're not cheap. Yeah. A and B. I think it is an innovative use of resources. If you can find another use for switchblades beyond the frogs that I sent in the mail, by the way, not easy to ship. Yeah. Very, <laughs> very difficult. Involved a lot of packing tape and a lot of, yes, and ice, dry ice. I mean, come on. Did you catch and kill them as well? I don't want to brag. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, cost effective, I tell you. Exactly. It's cost effective. <laughs> it's upcycling. Uh, it's reusing your materials yeah. for other purposes. <laughs> and frankly, if you join a junior Crips gang, how is that not physical education? How is that not joining a team? How <laughs> yes. is that not making friends outside of the school system? This lady's morals are so fucking twisted. I, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I just She's think saying that kids should be joining gangs. Do you yeah. agree with this? I, uh, we never condone any <laughs> sort you. of violence <laughs> or grow immoral, a pair or yards. Or relax. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, Chandler, uh, last one to you before before we go to commercial. Yeah. But extreme weather has shut down schools and made it difficult to get to class before. Yes. In the bitter cold, kids can get frostbite or the dumb ones might get their tongues stuck to a fence when they lick it. If kids learn on Zoom, then such problems are squashed. So why do you think braving the elements to learn should be a part of a kid's scholarly experience? Oh, yeah, let me tell you. Yeah, let me tell you. The rest of your life, you're never going to have to have a raindrop touch your skin. You're yeah. never going to have to have a snowflake land, <laughs> land under your feet. You're never going to slip and fall on ice in your entire life. That's never going to fucking happen. It might not. Of course it's going to mm -hmm. fucking happen. <laughs> okay. Okay? Right. This is the real world. People yeah. slip and fall. It rains. It rains sometimes a lot. Yeah. Okay? You're going to stay inside every time it rains because you're nervous of the water? No. It's bullshit. You go out there and you deal with it. And also, maybe if the fucking school board, which, by the way, I will be at the next meeting, <laughs> it, it gets their fucking head I highly grass, encourage that. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, knows how to, and knows how to cancel school when it's a fucking snow day. Okay? They don't even do <laughs> snow days anymore. They just tell the kids to go anyway. Meanwhile, I'm fucking 20 minutes late for work driving old fucking shithead in the back of my car <laughs> to, to school every day. Yeah. Because, and it's fucking freezing out. Cancel school. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. All right? Fair. Leave them home. Give these kids 
it's a school day, it's a, a snow day. That's that's part of the experience. That's part of that's part of growing up. Okay. All right. Making yeah. them making them work every single day. It, it, what you gonna fucking fucking go on Zoom every time? But what every about time it snows. But what about extreme weather? Right. Like obviously frostbite. That that could lead like maybe to some long term damage. Yeah. Good. Oh, good. Okay. Get yeah. busted yeah. enough. My God. Yeah. Kids, that kids, that oh. could affect the one possibilities. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, what the fuck you do? If my kid can't survive a little bit of frostbite, he's he's not going to be tough enough to be a D1 athlete. Got all right. You, you got to go out there and deal with the weather. What are you going to cancel <laughs> the fucking game? You going to cancel the, the the championship football game right. because it's a little fucking snowy? No. You're going to go out there and you're going to fucking deal with it. Nice. Good point. All right. Kids should get frostbite. I think that's how we're going to end this before God the end. Goddamn right. Fin All the right. herd. I agree. <laughs> and now to our sponsors. Happy to be back. Excellent. Uh, first off, I'm going to go over to Mr. Uh, Mr. Yard. Mr. Yard, how's this debate been so far? Well, it certainly has been eye-opening. Yes, I know. Uh, right? If not enlightening, it certainly has exposed me to some issues that are both on the educational side and the parental uh, side. So, yes, it's uh, it certainly has led me to some conclusions. So All far. right. Well, I'm, a, I'm excited to to hear what you have to ask them, because now is the point where you get to cross examine both debaters. Uh, what questions do you have for them? OK, well, first of all, uh, we've already established, you know, the name of your son. Yes. Congratulations. Okay. And I yeah. li- just 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 humor me. Uh, you could you tell me his name again? His name <laughs> is Zach. OK. Right. Zach um, attack. <laughs> that, and is that the, his middle name? Yeah, it is his legal. When is the name. last yeah. time that you had a discussion with him about his name? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, has he mentioned that he enjoys being called Zach, Zachary, anything like that? Uh, no, we call him Zach because that's what he's been called since he was a baby, and that's his fucking name. That's how names work. Okay. Kids don't get to choose their names. This isn't the internet. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, got you. Mm-hmm. Well, I just I wanted to confirm just a few things. Just it, no offense, obviously, meant uh, or or any sort of aggression. I'm just trying to make sure that we are on the same page yeah. because I do have some things that we will touch on later. All right. Ooh. Based on that. So. Um, <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's get to the fucking point on it. Okay, well, <laughs> well, well, well if, if, we, if we need to throw it out right now, uh, your son actually prener- uh, prefers to be called Fernando. He has taken a quite an interest in the Spanish language. And so he doesn't seem to be getting that support at home. And is there is there something at home that is preventing him from exploring the love of the Spanish language and even uh, uh, different Latin American cultures yeah. at home. Yeah, I would say there is. I would say it's the fact that I speak fucking English, buddy. <laughs> okay, maybe that's the problem. Maybe I don't. I, I can't have a dialogue with him because I don't speak fucking Spanish. Okay, <laughs> we speak English in my house. He speaks Spanish at school. That's yeah. why we send him to school to learn that kind of shit. Wow. You okay. you think him yeah. peeing in lockers might have something to do with that? He has like an inner inner desire to be Spanish. Can you hear the well, drums, I, Fernando? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do have a master's in psychology. You know, not enough to practice. Not obviously. a doctor. No, not a doctor. That's an education. So, <laughs> uh, it it just leads me to wonder, and that's really what a master does: is you you become curious about nature yeah and no, the nature college is a, is a fucking scam and so <laughs> it makes me wonder what is going on at home in the support systems when there is acting out in the actual school environment right so yeah what's going mm. on at home is he comes home from school i make sure he gets his fucking homework done yeah all right that way he gets a good grade in this lady's class he gets his homework done <laughs> and then he goes and does whatever he does <laughs> and i do whatever i do okay and then uh, he better get his fucking chores done yeah Okay, whether he's he's doing the dishes or he's vacuuming or he's cleaning it up, he's getting at least at least two of those done that night. Yep. Uh, and if not, he gets sent to bed with bread and water. Nice. Okay. If not, we sit down, we have some dinner, and uh, I talk about my day. Uh, <laughs> everyone else stays pretty quiet, stares forward like they should. Yeah. Uh, and then I, I watch some TV and then I go to bed. Well, that is interesting that you say he he gets his homework done. Ms. Pernefron, yeah. um, just could you enlighten me and maybe our listeners? <laughs> Are you telling how much just homework? A, just just as, a, as a side, though, keep in mind that we're debating for general kids if they should be taught online or not. They, not necessarily just Zach. Well, that, this is, oh, he's this a is a, <laughs> where uh, there is a debate in the educational community is that if you start in the individual, it actually is more important than trying to go broad. Yeah? Because when you try to go broad, a lot of times you don't actually reach any child if you start small you start with the individual it branches out out, and people can connect and other students can connect to that one story Oh, you don't think he's a special case and well he is a case oh yeah he is he's certainly a special individual in our class but miss pernephron uh 
how much homework has young Zachary done? Well, um, after I ask him to remove the sombrero, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I have found he does none. Okay. In fact, I would like to know if you've ever purchased him a pinata. No. No, we so don't you're do not pinata. encouraging No, we do boy. pin the tail on the donkey for birthdays. That's what we've done in my family. That's what we do. Okay. We don't do pinatas. That's not a fucking sombrero yeah. either. Okay. It's a Frisbee. I bought him for his it's birthday. It's a very large hat. Okay. Well, what I'm seeing here is a disconnect from the home and parenting and the educational environment yep. where, where one is saying the homework is done, that the child is succeeding, and the other, the teacher, the educator in this instance says, no, this is not happening. No. <laughs> okay. See, if you, if you guys could hit them, then we wouldn't have this fucking problem. I don't right? think homework is... the whole world's is getting soft. Homework isn't an answer written on the back of a Taco Bell wrapper. <laughs> That's not know? what I was asking. You guys are for. doing all experimental fucking bullshit these days. I mean, uh, they're Look, learning on Zoom. How am I supposed what to know what it is, okay? Like? But no, he never does the homework. No. Bet you he does his Spanish homework, huh? Bet you well, does see. that. Well, he certainly has a passion for it, yes. Yeah. Me yeah. gusta. Well, well, if he keeps yeah. it up, he can go to fucking military school in Mexico. <laughs> hey. <laughs> There we go. Cross examination, interesting. Mm, uh, very. Yeah. Any more questions about uh, online? Uh, well, I do. Online schooling. Do want to touch on this too, because I, I don't want to. It's not all on the home. This is a joint partnership between the home and the educational institution. Thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> so, Miss Penefrin, um, <laughs> how much time do you spend out of the classroom prepping? and uh, getting lesson plans together, uh, regardless whether it's online or in person, how much time out of the classroom would you estimate that you spend? It's very simple. I leave the establishment every day at 3.30 because I usually have to stay longer because all these children are garbage. So <laughs> I have to do detention. I go home, I make myself a nice rum and coke, I have two or three of those, and then I begin working on my lesson plans around 12, 8, 12 p. 12, 8, one of the AMs, one of the 12s. <laughs> Any way you cut it, I'm doing the work <laughs> at home. And you should feel very fortunate because most people, when they leave their plumbing job, leave the bullshit behind damn right that's the whole point exactly yeah but that's why i pay you so why should i do more <laughs> when i get paid less because you picked a stupid fucking career path lady i mean i don't know what to tell you you hate kids you, you don't want to work overtime you, no. you, you want to get paid better maybe you should have gone to school for something else all right maybe maybe you shouldn't be a teacher not all of us could go to DeVry. That's your job. i told you that <laughs> that's your job your job, ah, is, your you job got, is to deal with my kid my and job is shit. not my life wait just it as gets a, in the way of my drink as a side you got turned down from DeVry? I wasn't into VCR repair. Oh, there okay. wasn't many options beyond <laughs> that, and I couldn't do hair. No? So the only option was to teach garbage children advanced mathematics. And that's how easy it is to get your job? Yeah. Okay. Why not? Okay. <laughs> nice. There you go. Uh, any further questions, Mr. You Yard? know, I think I have gained all the information I need. I've gleaned a lot Good. Uh, from what we've heard so far. Well, the, the questions were answered, and I appreciate your being candid with me, mm. both of you. Yeah, of course. They've been sure nothing but y'all. candid, that's for sure. I'm a straight shooter. I, I'm not going to bullshit anybody. Well, then let's mm. uh, let's get right to it. We're going to move over to closing statements. And let's uh, yeah, let's start off this time with Miss uh, Miss Benefren. I think that sitting here next to Mr. Chandler <laughs> okay. is proof positive that we should not be around anybody anymore at all. <laughs> I hate people. I shouldn't have them near me. You don't <laughs> want them near me. I will ship your children petrified animals and daggers <laughs> really and you don't think that maybe other other people who like children should teach in class or anything who likes children that's a good point yeah she's got me there please all right let's move over to the closing statement by chandler then chandler why do you believe the kids should stay in school what's your closing argument i mean the fact that we're even having this debate is fucking bullshit yeah all right let me okay. just say that wow all right? he the is only eloquent. reason the only yeah. reason <laughs> that that we even are, are talking about zoom classes this this made-up thing that we were forced to do by the way because the fucking government decided to overreact to a virus yeah all right so now now all these kids are used to this online now we're now we're talking about how the normal system the way that people have been taught to create a successful country for generations is no longer the best way to do it. <laughs> it's bullshit. These kids need to go to school every day. They need to meet other kids. They need to have problems. They need to, they need to miss <laughs> class. They need to be late. They need to deal with social problems. Go fall and slip on ice. Go, go walk in the rain. Yep. Go, get, go fucking 
you know, for, forget to get picked up once in a while, okay? Because yeah. dad, dad had to work overtime. <laughs> all right, well, mom doesn't love you lot. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that, that's the point. These okay. are the, these are the real world things every kid's gonna have to deal with. They're not gonna learn that online. They can learn that online shit from this lady in class. Right. You're right. Can I rebuttal that? I think he is a perfect case for why we shouldn't teach children in person. If this is the result of the standard teaching method. <laughs> okay. That's all. If you could rebuttal, then he gets to rebuttal your rebuttal. Yeah, yeah. Don't no, talk about no, my kids, rebuttal. Kids, if you're out there listening, you don't want to have a house. You don't want to have a family. You don't want to have money in the fucking bank. You don't want to be able to buy whatever Persian rugs you want to put on top of your genuine hardwood floors. Not that tile bullshit that they use now when they flip houses. This is the real deal. All right? I fucking did it myself. You think kids are going to be able to afford houses? Uh, yeah, in the future? Yard. They will. All they I'm will saying if they is... go to school and they go to work. All right. That's uh, that was a great, very strong closing statement, mm. and now we uh, we have to conclude it, and that's gonna go, that's gonna land right in the lap of Mr. Yard over there, Mr. Yard. Yes. Who? It's a what doctor, is your conclusion? Who thinks gonna win this one? Just to be clear, for I think official purposes, it's Doctor Yard. Okay, uh-huh. Doctor uh, Yard. Uh, should I uh, should online teaching be the norm? Well, you know, I cannot believe after hearing all of I have heard so far that. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Chandler James here. Yeah. I, <laughs> I actually do believe, based on studies, mm-hmm. because it's not just persuasive arguments. Let's, let's be real about this. We need to dive yeah, into real. research and literature on the subject. Is not that, yelling? Uh, Yelling's not persuasive? No, it's, uh, you know, and I cannot condone the language that it was used <laughs> Yeah, to. I used by both. Um, <laughs> but uh, in-person provides something that a virtual environment cannot. Mm. There's social learning... And there is also book <laughs> yeah. and so we, land the plane yard. And we also appreciate all of our educators being passionate. And I can say I, I do appreciate being on here because I am going to be able to use uh, this podcast as a recommendation to the school board board for a dismissal of Miss Paraffin. <laughs> and also uh, we'll be passing this along to child services. For oh, James good. Go okay. ahead, oh, well, win, Go win for you. I will never <laughs> yeah, sit on no. his face ever again. <laughs> yeah, those those yeah. guys know me. They come to my house every week. All right. It's not going to be a problem. <laughs> Fucking old Dan and Debbie coming around again. Yeah. Right. Big so, threat. <laughs> so besides apparently your, your newfound distaste for both of these debaters, what, uh, what's the final answer is should online teaching be the norm or not? Uh, I think the final answer is we're all screwed. Uh, it's, <laughs> It's really tough. I think it has to be, it has to be an in-person uh, place. There with, it is. With Let's the, go with the use <laughs> of augmented technology. Of course. So. Well, there you go. Right on, Chandler. You won this one. Let's damn go. It, You're yard. goddamn right. I did. The kid's staying in school. He's out of my house. <laughs> He'll be out of my house at 18 too. I'll well, we'll be lucky if he can 18. make it to the the, the <laughs> building. You know. <laughs> Three yeah. bucks that kid. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you. We'll see. Your problem. Yeah. Now, go lady. scratch, James. I almost called him Bing. <laughs> oh, God. Who names anybody Chandler nowadays? My fucking father. Get a new name, I damn it. I was born it. before that stupid fucking show. Yeah, right. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to see all of you except for Mr. Yard at the bar. So, uh, Do- Dr. Yard. Dr. Dr. Yard. Yard. <laughs> all right. With that said. Dr. Uh, Horseshit. My name's Michael Harrison, and this was Character Debates.